I want to give you some hints about the bonus problem number B that my students are doing this semester. And for this one, you're supposed to draw five different circuits which have three resistors, a 1 ohm, a 2 ohm, and a 3 ohm, and calculate the equivalent resistance for each one of the circuits. And they need to be unique circuits. And so I want to give you just a few hints in terms of what it is I'm asking you to do. So first of all, you can draw this by hand. You could draw it out with another fancy um, graphing program or one of the circuit diagramming programs, but you definitely don't need to. In order to show you some things here, I did go ahead and grab some symbols so that I can move things around a little bit easier and it's easier for you to tell which of mine is a 1 ohm, a 2 ohm, and a 3 ohm. So one of the first things I want to mention to you is you actually need a full circuit. And so you need to have a battery symbol and wires in there and not just descriptions of things. The other thing is as long as your circuit is readable, it does not have to be drawn perfectly. So let me give you a few examples and just talk about some of the things that you might have issues with. So first of all, I'm just going to make a simple circuit here that has the 1 ohm, the 2 ohm, and the 3 ohm all along one path. And from our earlier videos, you should know what type of circuit this is. And again, mine's not perfect, and if I was drawing this by hand, it'd be something that would come along and go up and then go squiggle, 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 and then squiggle, 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 and then squiggle, 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 and come back down for my battery. But my handwriting and the computer likes to try and adjust what I'm doing is not the best. You still need to figure out the equivalent resistance, but this is one of the circuits you can do. Now just so you know, there are eight unique circuits you could draw. But there's some things you could draw that won't be unique. So for example, let's say I took my circuit here and I basically just switched the positions of one and two. Well, if you calculate the equivalent resistance for this circuit, you'll see you have exactly the same value as you did the first time around, which means it's not actually a unique circuit. In order to get a unique circuit, you're going to have to actually draw something different. And so that means even though I've got my same base circuit with my battery and my bulbs connected, or my battery and my wires connected, I might need to actually go through here and make a different path. And then I could put my resistors in different locations along that different type of path. When you look at this one, which is a combination of series and parallel, you'll find you get a different resistance than the first one I did. Now you still have to be careful and it's possible to again draw things that look different than this but are actually the same circuit. As you go to actually go around and rearrange where your resistors are, some combinations like this one would give you exactly the same as what you had before. You're going to have to switch some other things up. And this is not the only possible way you could rearrange the circuit as well. Think about between series and parallel and combinations of series and parallel. How can you get five different circuits that each have a different equivalent resistance? If you have questions as you're finishing this assignment, make sure you send them to me and I'll let you know whether or not you're setting your circuit up right, whether you're calculating your equivalent resistance right, and whether two circuits are actually the same or not.